All right, let's get started on how to make bone broth for your senior dog. Why you should make bone broths, chicken stocks, beef stocks, beef broth, however you want to call it, for your seniors, and how to do it. But first, please take one second to put up one second to put a poll on that subscribe button so we can help your senior dog and other senior dogs live longer, stronger, happier, and healthier. All right, a broth. Wow. All right, so a broth. Wow. Senior dogs, your senior pup, has probably started to encounter some issues with walking, with getting around. Maybe their joints hurt, their wrists, their elbows, their ankles, their knees, their hips. A lot of bigger dogs, especially, the hips start to go, they always say. This doesn't have to be like this. You can put that off for years and help your senior dogs live like puppies almost. I mean, they're not going to always have puppy energy, but if you've adopted a senior or you've had a dog since they were a puppy or middle age or whatever, and they're now older and you're seeing them slow down, they don't, you're seeing them slow down, they don't have to. They'll get a little slower. They don't have to just sit, just sit on the couch. They don't have to become couch potatoes. Energy dogs that are almost always smiling. Okay. For example, I had a beagle with me named Adriana. The picture is probably displaying right now on screen. Right now on screen. She was with me for 19 years, just shy of 19 years. When people would meet her, even when she was 14, 15, 16, 18, they'd go, How old is she? 9, 10? Why? Because she was active, she was energetic, she ran around, she played with her bigger brother, Nunzio, who is a Belgian Shepherd and enormous, and his picture is probably also on the screen now. They formed a weird friend as she got older, and she would play with him. She would play with some of the younger dogs. She played with her beagle sister, maybe, and some of the other beagles that have come through. Why? I had her from eight weeks old. Uh, other than the first month or two where the veterinarian recommended that we give a very basic, very commercial dry food, uh, I happened upon a member. This is going on more than 20 years ago. So all this kind of keto diet for the senior knees, paleo diets for dogs and all these different things, even, even the top end dog foods were not yet available. Happened upon this uh, book written by a veterinarian who said, basically, cook it up, get rid of all those terrible foods and that's exactly what I started to do. She started to eat liver and vegetables, chestables, chicken, pork, fish, the whole deal. One thing that I got into, and this was probably when she was about a year old, that I was getting into was getting into drinking bone broths and using them as demi-glazes for foods, even vegetables, drinking it, using it as soups. This advice actually comes from my Sicilian grandmother who would cook broths out of any bones that were around, fish broths, beef broth, pork, wild boar, rabbit, rabbit's not my favorite, uh, chicken. Why? Well, they made good soups, but also it was a health booster. It was always, oh, you know, when you get sick, eat chicken soup. Well, why do you eat the chicken soup? Well, today, most chicken soup is coming out of a can. The, the broth is coming from hydrosolized collagen that is garbage. When you make actual bone broth, you are taking all the minerals that are in the bones and leaching it into the water. And more importantly, as you'll see here, these bones were frozen beforehand, but you're gonna see here, this is cartilage. This is all cartilage and some meat. So closer to the bone, you always wanna eat close to the bone, but for your see, there get all this cartilage, all this connective tissue is loaded with glucosamine, chondroitin, MSM, and most importantly, the current super popular, super nutrient collagen. You've probably seen collagen supplements everywhere, even for dogs, even for senior dogs, for people who want to tighten their skin or want better joint health. I'm not convinced that a pill of hydrosolized collagen protein is the same strength or has the same impact as taking it from whole food sources. So when we take, these are beef and pork bones. Uh, my butcher gives them to me for free. When I buy, because uh, I buy usually 15 kilos of ground pork or ground beef per week, because we have, I have two dogs on ketogenic diet, one senior, one younger, and the rest of the seniors are on a milder form of keto, sort of a paleolithic, which I'll explain in another video. But 
everyone, whether no matter their age, from birth on, even the three, three dogs who are now two and a half years old, from the time they were able to eat solid food, they were getting bone broth mixed in to their milk preparation, their, their first food. So this is a lot of connective tissue here. I don't know if you can see it, but all of this contains, as we said, glucosamine, chondroitin, collagen, collagen, collagen. We are taking collagen, putting it in your senior dog's belly. How does this help? Well, their joints will feel better. Their muscles will feel better. Their neck, their, their hips. The hips are such a huge thing. You'll notice if they have hot spots, if they have itchy spots on their skin, they will vanish. If they have some of the, you know, that sort of pink, kind of looks like a rosacea, uh, it's a little bit of a skin allergy, bone broth will help tremendously. Now we're going to use this as a pork uh, and beef-based broth, and we're going to use vegetables. Why the vegetables? Vitamins, all right? Your senior dogs need super nutrition to feel their best. So we want to fill their bodies with the best sources of vitamins we can get. Because I have some dogs on a ketogenic diet, especially the seniors, we want to make sure they're getting extra vitamins, extra minerals. And when we do that, we want to go with as fresh as possible, though frozen is fine if you have to, local if possible. But the most important thing, colors. You got yellow, we have red, we have green here, uh, green, we got orange with the carrots. This is basil from the garden. Uh, we have garlic here. The more colors, the better. Just like when chefs talk about flavors or you see nutritionists talk about eat the rainbow. Well, it's important for you. It's also important for your senior dog. Your senior dog should be eating the rainbow. Now, they're probably not going to eat the vegetables, so we're going to pull those nutrients out and put them in the broth. Old school diet advice said don't ever eat Vegetables that you boil because all the nutrients leach out. Yes. Water-soluble vitamins and minerals can leach out into the, into the water you're cooking them in. But now you're drinking that water. Okay? Your dogs are too. So I actually use this same bone broth. The first batch, I take a little bit. They take most of it. Now, with bones this big, we can run this through the slow cooker probably three batches. With chicken bones... Smaller bones like that, you might get two, but a bigger bone, th these types can go through three times. So first thing we're going to do, you can do this on the stove, but a crock pot will make things infinitely easier. You can put it on overnight, set it before you go to bed. It's ready in the morning. You can ladle it out hot and fresh that morning or bottle it, freeze it, and then go on to the next batch. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to put three liters of water. There's a little less here, but there's three liters of water. Okay. Now we're going to put an acid. This is uh, apple cider vinegar with the mother, biological. You can use any type of vinegar or acid. I mean, you can even use lemon juice if you're in a pinch. That'll affect the flavor. So if you are using the same broth as your senior dogs, just keep that in mind. I'm going to put a couple tablespoons of that. I just free form it. This is to help leach the minerals from the bone. It's going to help break down the bone material. All right. We can put in bones. Some of these might be too big to fit in the pot. These look like dinosaur bones. All right, we'll just go with these for now. Vegetables, pull the green out of here. It gets makes things a little better. All right, break them up. Carrots, very important. Vitamin A, beta carotene. If you want to break them, you can. You don't have to. This is some spinach I have laying around. It's a good green, good source of vitamin C. Throw that in. This is lavender. Again, herbs. If you have them in the garden, use them. This is basil and lavender. We're going to throw that into Garlic. Tear off the roots. You put it in whole. You can smash it if you like a more garlicky flavor. Uh, garlic is very good. The garlic oils are very, very good for all dogs of all ages because it can, it can actually help fight off parasites if they happen to get into fleas or something, it can help the stomach fight those off. This is a very tough environment for a parasite to survive in the garlic acid. All right, so we'll just throw one in whole for this case. This is tops of celery. Again, this is a classic. This is the basics of a classic broth. We don't put onion, but carrot, celery, garlic. 
Same broth you get when you order soup at a restaurant. Now, carrot tops. If you can get them from the supermarket, use them. They're delicious. They're full of vitamins. Use them. Throw them in. Whatever's left, eat it yourself because this goes really good in a salad and it's super nutrition. Okay? Now, add a little bit of tomato paste. If you have, if your senior dog is on a keto diet, be careful with how much tomato you put in. You don't want to put tomato sauce because there's too many sugars and it can throw off the balance, can kick them out of ketosis. But this is just a little bit of cup, tomato concentrates, tomato paste. So just a little squeeze of that for some extra color, for some lycopene, which is a antioxidant that's very powerful. We're going to let this rest for a half an hour, 30 minutes. Uh, don't, uh, this is something else. Do not salt the broth. Some people say it can prevent the nutrients from being leached. I don't know. I've never seen actual science on that. However, I do know for taste. So if you're using this broth, the broth is much better. If you salt it at the moment, you're going to use it, whether you're drinking it or eating it in the soup. For your dogs, they don't necessarily need salt, yet, the salt anyway. So just let that rest for a half an hour. I said you can put this on low overnight, up to 24 hours. Big, bigger bones like this, like this. I don't know what this is, a Tyrannosaurus, maybe, Triceratops, maybe, who knows. A lot of connective tissue, a lot of fat here. So don't be afraid if this gets a little bit fatty, by the way. Uh, you can leave these in overnight, 24 hours or more. And like I said, you can get two, maybe three batches out of this. With chicken bones that are smaller, two batches. Now, you don't have to use whole vegetables. If you're cooking and you only have the scraps laying around, you got a bunch of carrot pieces, carrot tops, toss them in. This kind of stuff, red pepper, uh, these kind of pieces, just toss them in because you were going to throw them out anyway, right? So instead of throwing them out or composting them, they now become vitamin sources for your senior dog. Half an hour, put it in overnight, it will be ready to go. If you're going to take this out, uh, you're only going to do one batch at a time, or you only have one senior pup to feed, you might want to freeze some of this. Do it in glass jars. Don't be afraid of them breaking. Get a good couple of good quality glass, jar, glass jars, like uh, a mason jar. Here's how you get to prevent them from breaking. Let them cool completely. So put them in. Obviously, they're going to be warm when they go into the jar. Let it cool completely. Put it in the fridge. You can even put it in the fridge overnight. Once it's cold, put it in the freezer. And you're going to want to leave about six centimeters or two inches from the top because as it freezes, it will expand. Don't put the lid on. If it has room to expand... The jars won't break. If you close the lid and you put it in and it expands, poof, jars break. Okay? Then you ruin a good jar and you're going to lose the broth because there might be glass pieces in it. It'll stay in the freezer for at least two months, but if you're, if you're giving this in liberal quantities to your, to your senior dogs, the broth will go quickly. That's why you almost always have a crock pot going with some sort of broth. Um, uh, in general, I will mix the bones, so if it's beef, pork, wild boar, chicken, turkey. Turkey makes a really good broth for dogs. Use what you have. If you've eaten a chicken tonight, take the bones, take the carcass, throw it in. All right. Again, ask your butcher. They'll probably give you bones for free and a lot of them because they're only going to toss them anyway. And the, the butchers that do charge, charge very little for them. These are invaluable for the health of your senior dog. So why is bone broth so important? Besides the joint health, bone broth has been shown in several studies in both animals and humans to help gut health, help protect the gut lining. Most of our serotonin as humans is made in the digestive tract, up to 70% of it. I've never seen the same study done, the same number for dogs. I don't know, but... Being that they're mammals, it's probably very similar. So if you want your senior dog to have good feel, to wake up feeling good and feeling happy and not be grumpy, this is a good start because this will help boost their gut health, right? Helps them digest, gets a lot of vitamins and minerals and collagen and all that into their system. Yeah, but the collagen can also help protect the gut lining. Um, you know, if you've heard of leaky gut syndrome, a lot of health practitioners suggest using bone broths, homemade bone broths to help heal the gut lining so you're not having these issues with the tiny holes in the gut lining that are caused by bad foods and things. 
and your senior adult is susceptible to these problems. So use the bone broth. How do you use it? If you're giving them dry food, this is a great addition to help boost the nutrition. So a little bit of this warm, bit of this warm, they'll sop it up. They'll love it. If you're feeding them raw or keto, keto for senior dogs is, is super important, especially if they're fighting off cancers or autoimmune diseases or any other type of malady. Um, this can go in with, with pork, beef, turkey, chicken, whatever it is. They'll love it. Okay. If you have seniors who don't drink as much as they should, they don't like to drink water for some reason, they don't necessarily have the same sensors that a younger dog would have that says, hey, we need to drink water, our body's getting too hot, we're thirsty, just like older people have this problem sometimes. This is a great alternative because they will drink this, all right, because it has a great flavor and a great smell, and it's, at its base, it is water, so you're getting them hydrated as well. This is, combine this type of broth with digestive enzymes, something like yogurt or kefir that's giving them probiotics, and you have a trifecta of gut health boosting firepower for your senior dog. They're going to feel better. They're going to look better. They're going to look younger. All my seniors, everybody says the same thing. Oh, they, oh, she's 13. She looks, wow, she looks like five. Even uh, Genghis, who is battling cancer right now and winning, when she got a blood test, when she got a blood test done, the vet said, this is the blood test of a two-year-old. So, why did Adriana continue to climb mountains until the last three days of her life? Bone broth. Bone broth was a huge reason why. Don't waste the bones. Don't waste anything. This is the finished product here. Um, it might, this is chicken broth. So, beef broth will look darker than this. You can also do fish broth and things, but start with this. It's the most basic recipe. After half an hour, put it on the heat. Let it sit overnight. One last thing. You live in a very humid climate or your summers are hot and humid, you can take some of the broth and put it in an ice cube tray, freeze it, and then just drop one or two cubes into your dog's bowl. Even if they are picky drinkers, they will go for this because it makes the water a little colder. Don't put too much ice, but just enough to cool it down and give it a little flavor. And some of your seniors might even want to just eat the ice cubes because they're delicious. So let them have it. It's, a, it's like a giant icy supplement pill with vitamins and collagen and minerals and all kinds of things that will help them feel younger, look younger, live longer. Most importantly, not only live longer, live happily, live strong, live healthy. All right. Don't forget to subscribe as well.